An app delegate is the part of your iOS code that kind of sits in the middle of everything. And what do I mean by the middle? Well, if we have iOS over on this side, iOS likes to communicate generally through the app delegate. And then the app delegate itself can respond to that communication by doing things like writing data or just whatever other functions need to be run when it receives something from iOS. So you can kind of think of the app delegate as the glue between iOS and your application. It's also the entry point to your application. Now, a common thing that you're going to have to deal with as a developer is stuff like push notifications or remote control events. For example, if I have headphones and I click the little button, I want my music to pause, and you have to have some way of registering for that pause notification in your app. Now, typically you would have an app delegate and you'd have one or two lines of code in there, but as a developer, you don't really touch it unless you really have to. And your app delegate then goes off and goes to a navigation controller, which shows some kind of view. So that's normal behavior. Now let's say your view has all of your rewind, your play and your fast forward code. And it's these functions you need to access. Now inside of your app, you would have some kind of music player. And you would probably store this in the view. But a better place to store it would actually be as some kind of reference to the player object in app delegate. And why do I say that? It's because the app delegate is a singleton, which means there's only one of it. And in every app that's running, it is guaranteed to be there. Whereas the view controller is not guaranteed to be there if your app is backgrounded, or the navigation controller, or some other random class. They could all be destroyed by the system to reclaim memory. Now, it's not such a problem these days because we have more and more memory creeping in, but to have a nice responsive application that always works as you expect, you would do these things in the app delegate. So I would click my pause button and the app delegate would take care of the pause and play and tell the player to pause fast forward or whatever it is. Now, there's another use case for the app delegate that you'll come across a lot. And that is, we have our app delegate and we get something like a push notification. And you would register to receive these in your app delegate. That is absolutely where you want to do this. Once you get that push notification, you can then fire off some kind of function, class, object, whatever it is, to respond to the push notification and do something, maybe download something in the background, start playing, give a notification, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. So that again is where you would have the app delegate. So to summarize, the app delegate is simply the glue at the heart of your application between iOS system and your app itself.